I remember coming in um, when I was about six or seven and I was definitely terrified and you were just sitting in the front office with all these papers out in front of you and you know you welcomed me in and as soon as I saw your smile I knew that I definitely wanted to dance here and that I felt like I belonged. My first memory of you is my first day in Modern One. I was so nervous about being in a new level and like actually dancing and I was so scared and my sister reassured me that you would be the nicest person I ever had as a teacher and she was right. That first day when I got there, you were so nice, you gave everyone a big hug and you told us it would all be okay and we had so much fun for the rest of the year. My favorite memory with Brian actually <laughs> happened during my interview. I came in, uh, we were you know, in the office upstairs, and I started telling her what dance means to me and how much I love it and the role that it's played in my life. And um, she's so empathetic. She has this deep well of empathy. And so I could tell she was just right there with me, you know, feeling it as I was saying it. And I knew she felt the same thing, and she, um, she teared up a little bit. And then I teared up a little bit, and I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, this, she's just a kindred spirit. One time, there's, I think, there's only three people in the class, and um, she got tutus and things, and we got to dance and tutus. That was very fun. A memory, like one of my fondest memories, um, of BDC tradition in general, but specifically with you, is um, every performance, like before every performance, we'd get in our circles and have our little like rituals, and um, they're not gonna be the same without you, so I'm definitely gonna miss that. One of the best memories I have is walking into the circle time that Brian has with the the dancers prior to the, the opening performances and her sitting with the dancers in the circle and really appreciating each one of them where they are in their in their dance studies and preparing them for this marvelous week of performance and sharing. You're in the midst of a huge production <laughs> and you're talking to me about what we're going to put on the little um, clips for, for the ballerinas, uh, for their hair pieces. <laughs> and <laughs> I thought you are amazing, Brian, to just be so um, in the moment. Yeah. These are Brian's plies. <laughs> you like pay attention to every single detail because you want us to look good and you want us to be happy with, you know, what we put out there. And all your hard work was totally worth it. <laughs> So, Brian, one thing we really, really want to thank you for is we both feel like, um, after our backstage experience with you, that um, we now have pretty much a graduate degree in hairpiece placement. So, thank you for that. And it's going to take us far. We're pretty sure of that. Yeah. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> this place is filled with Brian Energy. That's what I call it. Brian Energy. Which fills up the entire dance cellar, the dance center, I mean. It fills up the walls, the mirrors, the music, the floor, the doors. Once you step in, you just feel the energy. And when you step out, you, you leave the energy behind you. And that energy just stays with this place no, no matter what. And it makes us feel happy that you, that we know that you're happy. When I first came to Bainbridge Dance Center, you were there as like a motherly figure for me and you were there welcoming me in and you taught me how to dance. I had you for one of my classes and you're just a gift giver. You gave me the gift of dance, which is the biggest gift anybody could ever give me. And that has really changed my life for the better. I just think how much she did care, because it wasn't just about dancing or technique, 
or like performance. Like she wanted us to be healthy, like eat well, drink water, sleep enough, um, like get your homework done, but also like be present while you're in the studio. It was more like, like she wasn't just with us at the studio, like it was just kind of, she was helping us grow up and like learning life lessons and stuff like that. Let the rhythm well, when I think about girl power, and when I think about women, and girls growing up into women who are strong and confident, when I think about girls navigating balance and respect and trust and beauty and strength, I think of all the things that Cora learns here at Vintage Dance Center, and I feel like Brian's played a huge role in helping shape that. I mean, the faculty here, the teamwork, the parents, the kids, I just feel like Cora and Rowan, both of our girls, have been exposed to this great sense of modeling what it means to be to move in your body to have confidence to trust and uh, especially to just live with respect for yourself and for others at vdc um brian didn't she didn't produce or she didn't raise dancers you might be like what but it's a dance studio but really at vdc like she produced and like taught us how to be our own person, how to be a friend, how to create relationships. She really taught us how to be ourselves and really how to express that through dance. <laughs> You always believed in us. You knew that we had a shot at whatever we wanted to do. And if we worked our hardest, we could get there. And I always loved that about you. And it was so fun to have you teach here. And I'm so sad to see you go. But I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Because whenever I see you, you always give me a big hug. And even though you're not going to be teaching in here anymore, I'll always know that my success has definitely, part of that has definitely come from you, and so I'm very grateful for that. To me, I think of joy when I think of her. Um, she's just such a happy soul, and she exudes that. She would always, you know, take time to talk to me about my daughter and her strengths and um, how beautiful she is, and, and I really appreciated her taking the time to do that. Brian, seeing you in the studio, like always is just, you're always such a bright light and it's always so amazing. Like when you come in to watch the class, I always feel so comfortable and um, you're like a second brother to me. Brian, you always made the studio feel like a home. Um, if there's something going on in our own lives, you were always someone that we could come and talk to with no question asks, just, uh, like family. This dance center, because of you, has uh, allowed Audrey and our family to really feel a love and connection like a family. Yep, a second family. You meant so much to her, you built her confidence, uh, you believed in her. As parents, uh, we're extremely grateful for that and the amazing young girl you helped shape. For as long as I've been here, 14 years, you have helped shape so many beautiful, young, um, intelligent, and professional dancers, and I think we'll always hold you in our hearts, and we're going to really miss you, but we all love you so much, so thank you. Although this may be the end of your tenure at BDC, the friendships that you've made and the impact that you've had on all of the dancers are things that are gonna last forever and that you'll keep with you forever. And we're grateful for the time we got to work together backstage because we have a very special friendship and we feel like we have the same thing with you. Susan would be so proud of you. You made Bainbridge Dance Center yours in so many ways and added so many Brian things um, to this community and to this space. And I think the biggest thing you brought was your warm and generous heart. Um, I feel that here. And all that love um, is alive and I am so honored and um, delighted to try and carry that forward.
Um, so thank you. Thank you for making Bainbridge Dance Center what it is today. Let the rhythm. Let the let the rhythm just. Well, Brian, if you can open your spa, you should open your spa, and I wish you lots of beautiful flowers and outfits and parties and drinks and just go and have a great, great time up there in your beautiful new home. Yeah, yeah. Love you. <laughs> Very excited to see where you go, Brian. <laughs> Keep us posted. <laughs> and maybe it's something that you don't even know, have no idea yet, but I can't wait for you to find it. You've blessed us with your kindness and your energy and just all your efforts. And so I hope that you carry on that and touch more people's lives than just ours. You have so much to offer wherever you go. And we're super excited to see where that is. And we hope you keep us informed along the way and let us be there with you. And always remember you have a huge support group of people who love you and only want the best for you and we're all here for you. And we know you're going to do great and we love you. Brian, I love you. <laughs> A lot. Now you can just chill and relax <laughs> and do whatever you want. <laughs> you have all the freedom and the time that you've been missing for the last 20 years and the world is truly your oyster. Go out and get it. You're going to have a great time. For your future, I hope that everyone you encounter is as nice to you as you were to us in our first years of dance and make you feel so welcome with whatever you end up doing. <laughs> <laughs>